Okay, everybody, hello. We are back for the second tutorial. We, uh, in the last one, we cut out the green screen, we added Grievous here, and now we gotta do some lightsabers. So I am going to um, do that next, all right? Now, if I go to Fusion, check it out. Go to Fusion. Oh, I got, I got Grievous in there, okay? I don't wanna work with Grievous yet. Um, so I'm going to go back. I am going to uh, right click on the green screen layer because that's where Obi-Wan is. And I'm going to right click and go to open infusion page. And that just tells Fusion, hey, I want to open this, the Obi-Wan, not, not Grievous. Um, and so here I got, now up here I can look at it all. Um, also what I've done here already, sorry. Uh, yours will probably say fit and you'll have a small little Obi-Wan there. Um, I'm gonna I make mine bigger 400% is good just so I can see that you know that lightsaber. If you want to move things over you can hold down your middle mouse button and move things over. That works fine. Um, if you if that's not working for you for some reason you can also do command I'm sorry shift command and move with your mouse button. All right, so that's shift command and move or middle mouse button and move. All right, yes, get him in the center. It, you know, you just want to see this where the where the saber is. Okay, and now what what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a background. So I'm going to create a background with this button. I could also do it with shift space bar and then put background. But you can see that. You know that this is taking me longer, so I don't like to take longer. <laughs> so I'm not going to do it that way. Anything you want to do, uh, there's all there. You know, luckily, there's some shortcuts up here, which is great. So I like the button shortcuts, um, so I don't have to spell background. So I'm going to click that background, and whoa, you can see what's happened right here. I kind of made a mess here, um, and that's I can move things. So I'm going to move this, which is called a merge node. And I'm going to move the background over here. And you, now you can see it clearer, what it's doing, taking the media in, applying the delta here with a mask, a garbage mat, sorry, a garbage mat, and then sending it out into the merge. And it's merging that footage, this footage, with the background. Okay, great. Sounds good. However, it's not really doing that because if you roll over this, you see it, it's foreground background is there so okay fine it's okay I'm not gonna I, I can I can reverse things and do a bunch of stuff but that's gonna work fine I actually want it in the foreground I do want this in the foreground all right so background what is what does the background need well it needs it needs a um, <laughs> wow what does it need here it needs a polygon all right so I'm gonna draw my lightsaber with a polygon there's a button for it right here hey I should have told you that in the last uh, episode, but I didn't. Uh, remember, you can shift spacebar and do poly. Okay, but now this is getting longer than just pressing the button here. Same thing. Okay, just do it this way. Polygon. Now I can see uh, Grievous, which is good. I got a kind of a mess here. I do like to clean up my nodes just so they flow a little better like that. All right. And now I got a polygon, and I'm gonna click just four times. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm sorry, five times, because I gotta close up this polygon. Make sure you do that. See that zero there? That means it's closing the polygon. Bunk. All right, and now I have a black sword. Okay, um, yeah, lightsabers are not black. However, that'd be pretty cool if I could add a glow to that and have a black. Oh man, that I'd be the ultimate Sith. However, I'm not going to do that. All right, I need a white um, interior of the sword because it glows white hot. All right, so to change that blackness to whiteness, I'm going to click the background, and you can see right here the color of that background. It is black. So I'm going to click on there, and I'm just going to move this all to white nice and white now i'm getting a little better with my um lightsaber it's looking a little better it it you know it does look a little square on the edge here don't worry about that it's gonna be fine 
um, it'll be fine later because um, I'm going to do other things to it to make it look really good. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click this background and I'm going to add another effect to it. All right. Let's see. What effect am I, do I want? I'm going to go to... No, I'm not going to go to the effects library because I hate doing that. I'm going to shift space and there it is. It's already in there. <laughs> glow. I need some glow. Glowage. So the glow you, that you want, this one will work fine, but this one is the one I'm going to use because it just does some stuff better. So click that glow. And I've never used that one. I don't know what it does. So, okay. That adds some glow. So now I've got glow. i got my glow controls over here. I can change the spread of the glow. You can't really see. You can, you know, you got to look there closely to see what's going on. I don't want a big glow glowing everywhere. I just want a glow right around the, right around it. All right. And I want to color that glow. All right. Because the lightsabers have a color. So, uh, if I was in person right now, you could all tell me which, what, what color his uh, lightsaber was. I can't remember. Okay, but I'm gonna go green. All right, and now I got a green saber. I think that's what he had. It looks familiar. It looks good. All right, so the green glow, white center. That's what you want. And now I can, you know, I can do some more adjustments here. Um, let's see, relative spread in the blue and the green. Okay, I don't. I don't see that doing a whole lot of stuff. Brightness, the brightness of the glow. Yes, I want, I want, I want some bright glowing going on there. Maybe I can decrease the spread a little bit since it's so bright. All right, and now I'm looking like I got a good, pretty good lightsaber there. All right, there's more we can do to it, but not now. All right, let's go back here, back to the edit, and you can see. Oh yeah, there we go, lightsaber. All right. Um, looks good, you know, looks a lot better than this one. We zoomed in on it here. We zoomed in on it here, you know, so when we zoom out, it's going to look a whole lot better. So that's why I was telling you, don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. All right. So that looks good. All right. Our next job is to animate this and we're going to animate it in the next tutorial so you know if you didn't subscribe and like and follow last time you probably should have right because the next tutorial number three is when we're going to animate this lightsaber Ooh, and then we got to animate grievous's lightsabers that's the hard part that's the hard part but this one right, you know see you in the next video all right bye bye